Okay. Uh, thank you all very much for being here. Our first panelist is Stan Brock. Mr. Brock is the founder and president of the nonprofit healthcare organization Remote Area Medical called RAM, based in Rockford, Tennessee. He has a very diverse resume. He worked as a cowboy in the Amazon and later hosted the television wildlife series Wild Kingdom. After organizing volunteers to deliver medical care in remote villages around the world, he saw the great need here in the United States and founded RAM, which has held over 700 free healthcare expeditions since 1985. Uh, Mr. Brock, thank you for your work and thank you for being here this morning. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and distinguished members of the committee. Uh, welcome to America, number 37 in the World Health Organization's country rankings. Uh, I'm the voice of for more than half a million patients that remote area medical RAM has treated free of charge in 723 mobile medical clinics during the last 28 years. I know what it's like to be poor and without help. I am one voice of the millions of people who are not a part of our healthcare system. They've been left behind and forgotten, and I speak for them today. I came from a place where there was no doctor, living with the Wapishana Indians in the upper Amazon. Their only recourse when faced with catastrophic injury or sickness was a tribal witch doctor, but at least they had that. Some of the sick that we see here in the US have nowhere to turn. That is why I created Remote Area Medical. When I suffered a serious injury, one of the Indians said, the nearest doctor is 26 days on foot from here. I felt then what so many in our nation feel today, when they need a doctor and cannot get care. For millions of Americans, they might as well be 26 days on foot from the nearest doctor. In this 1936 picture of a Depression-era mother in California, is it any more revealing than this 2012 picture of a thousand Americans holding up their hands, appealing for health care before daybreak at a ram-free medical event in Bristol, Tennessee. Where have we gone wrong in the last 76 years that separates these two iconic images?